Hello, COM 110 class. I am going to be whispering during this video because it's about 1.40 in the morning. That's when I tend to get the most work done. Uh, so I just wanted to show you how to export your videos from Premiere Pro. So when you're done and your video is ready to go, and pardon the way my window looks, I edit a little differently than everybody else, I'm sure. Here's my project window. Here's my program monitor window. And down here is my sequence or uh, timeline window. So this is just my setup. You can make yours the way you like it. Anyway, when I'm ready to export, I've got my video the way I like it. I go to File, Export, Media. Now, sometimes you may try that. You may go File, Export, and suddenly Media is grayed out. And the reason is because currently, look what window is highlighted. My project window is highlighted. I need to highlight my trailer, or excuse me, trailer, my teaser. Yep, no, nope, that's the wrong word too. My timeline, or sequence uh, window. And then I'm going to try again, File, Export, Media. Okay, then I'm going to get the export settings window up here. Uh, it's a big window, so sometimes you don't even notice it's there because it just takes up the whole screen. Uh, your sequence settings up here are going to need to be changed. Yours, for the first time, are probably going to default to QuickTime here. Um, and I don't really want you using QuickTime, even though it is a good setting and they've got the proper settings. Um, there's a better one, and that is H.264, which is a type of QuickTime anyway. So H.264 uh, is what I want you to use for these upload settings right now. Once you've got H.264 selected, you're going to go into the presets, and there's a billion presets. You can choose all different types of tablets and devices. What I want you to do is scroll down to the bottom here. Vimeo 720p HD. Now, you may work, be working in a 1080p HD file. That's okay. For now, for the upload, I want you to do 720p because it's going to be a smaller file size, and it's going to give you less problems. Uh, so Vimeo 720p HD. This is your default. If you're not shooting in HD, you can go for the fourth uh, 420, is it 480, 480? Yeah, 480. Uh, anyway, but I think 720 is the size I want you to be using, uh, specifically if you're using HD. Other than that, that's really all you need to change. You can uh, click on the name of your file, mine's Tracy Andy Trailer, uh, and when you click on that, that'll also tell you where you're saving it, which is important. So get it into your COM110 folder, and then uh, you come down to the bottom. That's pretty much all you need to do. Do not hit Q. You can. It will work. It'll just open Adobe Media Encoder, which you don't need. Uh, and you can just, from here, export right out of Premiere Pro. Now, when you hit export, you're not going to be able to use Premiere Pro until it's done exporting, which, depending on the length of your video, could be anywhere from 1 to 10 minutes of export time. Maybe longer, but hopefully not. Depends how long your video is. So I'm just going to hit export right here. And it'll even give you an estimated time remaining, 2 minutes and 30 seconds for me. So I'm not going to sit through this whole thing because I've already exported it, but I hope that gives you an idea of how to export your video. When you're done, go ahead and upload it via Blackboard. Uh, if you have trouble with that, some people have just put it on YouTube and sent me the link. That works too, but I'd like you to get it on Blackboard if you can. Um, but honestly, it's not a big deal. Either way is fine. So if you have any questions, hit the Q&A forms or shoot me an email. Hopefully uh, everything's going well. Good luck.